Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm just going to show you around the garden real quick. Um, you can see there's a lot of green flowers and just everything's growing. Oh, we just missed it. There was a bee here. I was trying to get the water bottle filled up and everything, but I'll get it next time. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here. Um, we're going to basically pull out some of these salads and spinaches, everything green that has bolted, we're pretty much gonna pull out and we are going to replace them with some new seedlings. So that's the plan for today. So pretty much everything with seeds has bolt, it's called bolting. Um, basically, if you don't water it correctly or if uh, it's too hot, um, the salads, they produce seeds. I um, mean, usually some people just cut them off and keep trying to eat them. Um, but in this case, like I've already seen there's some aphids and small bugs um, landing here and you know nesting here and I don't want it to spread to the rest of the garden so I'm just gonna pull them out. So you can just start from the bottom and try to pull up and get as much of the roots as possible. This one here, this is the arugula with the yellow flowers. The bees and wasps usually come for this one so I think I might leave that one even though it's a bit crazy. I'm pull this one. And the last ones of the salad. I didn't really like the taste of the salad, to be honest. Uh, it just tastes like water. <laughs> My favorite of the salads were the, the kale. The kale was pretty tasty. And you can use it in a lot more recipes, I'd say. Instead of just salad, you can actually cook with it. Anyways, I'm going to take the salad out. And here we have the you know, the small seedlings growing here. I'm pretty sure these ones are the salads again. Um, so I'm going to plant those ones in the same spot. When you're using these kind of like plug trays, you can literally put your finger in the hole there. Push. And you pretty much get this little, it's supposed to stick together better, but you pretty much get this little plug, quote unquote, that you can just like plug into a little hole in the in the spot that you're gonna replace it. So let me show you. So here we have a spot. You can make a hole. And I'm going to try to separate these a little bit. Okay, three different salads, and then literally put it in the hole. And I think, you know, I think only three is good for each of these little sides because then it got a little bit too crowded and I didn't like, I didn't like that. It was really hard to get the leaves off from the bottom. And like with salads, you're supposed to pluck the leaves from the bottom as you eat them. Um, and it's kind of hard to do that if it's so crowded, you know, you can't see. So, okay, there we go. I was thinking it might be cool to actually show you some of the different flowers on some of the salads, just so you can, you know, you can tell later on which kind of salads you grew or whatever, but let me just show you. Here is a spinach and the spinach flower, but basically spinach plants, they start to have these little seeds everywhere along the stem. They're not bugs, <laughs> they're seeds. Um, kale here, kale hasn't actually had a flower yet. I think the weather here is more appropriate for the kale. Um, it's a hardier plant, so no flowers, but the little leaves are in the center there. Um, yeah, and the arugula is a pretty crazy plant. You see, it's like, just like all over the place. And actually, let me show you this one over here. This one, they're literally just drooping down and then growing. They get to a point here where they loop around and then grow back up. So this one's out of control. Um, but I, I like to keep it because I told you like the wasp and the, and the bees, they come here and they really like this, this uh, arugula, the flowers and stuff. So it's kind of nice to have it in the garden. 
especially since all these other flowers that I had, um, they're like flying off because of the wind is too strong. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to basically just keep pulling, try to pull out as much as I can, um, and just replacing it with the uh, other seed, uh, other seedlings that I have here. Um, I think it's the appropriate time just because the what the weather's starting to change. It's like um, the end of July, so it's I'd say it's getting a little bit colder again, um, and that's perfect temperature for salads. It was pretty hot this month actually, so like it was in the 15, 16, 17. Um, pretty much almost every day <laughs> so the seed, the salads were not doing that well and they went out of control but now I can plant these seedlings and then it would you know it's gonna it's gonna start growing again and slowly at first because of the weather but I think it's gonna be great so that's the plan for today thanks for watching